Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Cassidy in the mid lane running Electrocute, Sun Impact, Eyeball and Genius, Boots, and Cosmic Insight. We're gonna be scaling. Cassidy is my new favorite champion. I've been playing him for about a week now and I still haven't even lost a game on him. Even in Diamond 1 is where my main's at right now. I got a pentakill on him. And he's just so good because his early game is like really bad and slow, but it's pretty easy not to die, and then as soon as you're level 6, you're a champion, and then 11, you can delete people, and yeah, you're just a scaling monster. And I like him because, unlike a lot of other mids I play where I'm kind of just stuck in the mid lane the whole game, I can roam as Cassidy. Like, I can be all over the map. We got teleport with cooldown boots and ingenious hunter. So teleport's on a super low cooldown. So yeah, he just feels really good to play. Like, I have a lot of control over the game, even though he's not... A champion early so we'll see how it goes with aurelian soul i wouldn't say he counters me but he also scales just as hard as me but i think i'm gonna be able to kill him once i get some items because i'm gonna do more damage than him i'll just like kind of assassinate him because cassin is kind of an assassin with his mobility and damage but yeah i like running electrocute some castings are running a uh, first strike to try and scale but I, I really like the burst from Electrocute, and I didn't want to run first strike against an Aurelian Soul, because he's going to hit me first with that E in his Q. Maybe matchups where I know I can hit them first, I'll go the first strike, but I haven't tried that page yet. And the cool thing is, like, you can build tank on Cassidy too, like... If I don't want to get one shot, I can just grab like a frozen heart for Yone and Jin, and then they won't even do damage to me. And then the mana from that item actually helps me. I've been going crown on him sometimes, but I'm probably going to go Rod of Ages. Rod of Ages Seraphs. Some games I go crown and uh, mana immune as my tier mythic or tier item, whatever it is. Oh, I think my Q cancels his Q. So back in the day, Cassin Q used to be a silence when it hit a champion, but now I believe it just stops channels if it still even does that. So let's see. Yep, it stops channels. That's cool. So yeah, we shouldn't be too bad in this matchup since I can stop it. And look, we're already almost level 6. I'm 4. Two more levels to go and then I have a dash. See, the early game really isn't that bad. In high elo, what people do is they like straight up will stand in front of the wave and zone me because a Cassidy really can't fight you early. But I just, I let them push me into turret and I try to get as much farm as I can. And it, I end up always just not falling too far behind and with Cassidy's like roam potential i always pick up three kills that's why we start a dark seal eventually eventually this seal will be stacked and i might even build early magis it's pretty valid on him because with the teleport and all your roaming how many times is he gonna keep lasering me yeah now he's learning his auto attacks actually do the most the, the way to beat Kassin is you just auto-attack him a bunch in lane. Um, I think Bro forgot that he has mana. Oh! I'm dead! That's unlucky. It's fine. <laughs> I can't believe my auto didn't go up. That sucks. I could have got a free kill. I should have leveled up my W and flash auto quicker. It's fine. I'm actually so confident in Kassin. Even if I die, I'll still be okay. Oh, we'll get this. Actually, no, no, no. I need a tier. Get that stack in, and we'll get a book. Yeah, that is really unfortunate that I outplayed him, but I still ended up dying because of tower shots and my short little range on my W. But I believe, I believe in the Kassin. I will scale. It's not a casted in game if you're not playing from behind. Soul is actually so annoying though. Just you wait, Aurelia, until I'm able to play the game. It'll be easier to cancel and dodge his also once I have six and we'll go uh, rod of ages seraph so then I'll get shield and an extra mana and health 
I'm almost level six. All right. Level six it is. I mean, level six isn't the biggest power spike, but it just makes it so it's a lot harder for me to die. Because I basically have flash up on a five second cooldown. An ally has been slain. I'll TP up here. Maybe I could find Echo or something. Oh, he just ran. There we go. See? I get free kill from roaming. I uh, just lose a minion wave mid, he gets plating. But I got stacks of seal, and I got a kill. Just by looking around and using my teleport. And the ingenious, reason people take ingenious on Kassin is because we're going to build, like, Lich Bane, Hourglass, uh, Tier. I don't know if it makes Rod of Ages stack up faster, but pretty much all the items Kassin builds has actives or stuff that stacks, and that makes it go faster. So my tier will be stacked up well before I even finish the item. But you want it stacked up before you finish the item too because your ult takes so much mana to cast. Okay. Yeah, we're just working towards that Rod of Ages. I forgot I have... Actually, I don't have the debt rune. I didn't go the first strike page. So never mind. I'm going to say, if I took the first strike page, you could get items a little bit quicker. I don't know where Yone is. We could fight, though. Oh. GQ'd. Can't save her. Unfortunately, she like wasted her Q when she should have smited that or did something. I can help this guy. He needs a fight. If he runs, he's gonna die. But he's gotta like. Vi and Yone didn't even fight back. They just kind of let them kill them. So that sucks. I don't want to die too like them though. So we max E and then we max. Uh, W. It's really easy to farm on Cassidy too. I always have good CS on him. I can't fight this guy. But if I ult him, maybe we can kill him. Oh, my E didn't hit him. He's gonna flash. Nice, we got him. Unfortunately, stunned under turret again. It's fine. All right, I'll have the catalyst. Unfortunately, I don't have the rod. Push. Tower has gotten soul two of his three kills. I almost have a rod. I'll have to base for that. Aren't you getting armor boots before building all these armor items? Armor boots are really good against Yone. They'll stop him from dying so fast. Okay, so I'll probably get 200 gold and then just base really quick. And now I have the upgraded teleport, so I can teleport anywhere now. I'll just proc electrocute and run away. I don't want to use my dash. I won that trade. Okay, I want to push this wave and then go try and get a... Uh... Oh yeah, we have free boots now too. Push this wave, go get the rod really quick. Because I want to finish this as fast as possible get it stacking. I have it at 11 minutes, which isn't terrible considering I've died twice already. But I don't care if I die. I know I'm going to carry this game regardless of what happens, I think. 
40 seconds on my TP. We got Harold. Ooh, that might be a kill. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Now, I might be able to fight Soul. We'll see. Yeah, the reason Kassadin's max E now is because they, like, changed him where every time somebody uses a spell by you, it lowers the cooldown of it. It used to kind of be like that before, but a little bit different. So I'm roaming top. I'll just keep dashing up there. wonder if he has flash. There we go. I have so many dashes that even if they use everything to get away, Kassadin gonna catch ya. So I'm gonna base really quick here, and I'm gonna go get my cooldown boots. And then I'll teleport. If I get the cooldown boots before I teleport, it's gonna be on lower cooldown. So I just made a play top. Now watch, if Echo and Aurelian still try and fight at this dragon, I can teleport in. But there's not really anywhere to get teleport. It looks like I don't need to. It's really scary that I'm walking. I know vision right here. I guess soul recalled. I don't need to teleport. I'm gonna save it for bot lane plays or something. Or maybe just to get back to lane, who knows. But I want to go bot and get those two ingenious stacks. Okay, he has... Leandri's now. Good damage. Ouch, lost half my health. Oh, got it all. I think I can kill him here. Nice. Honestly, I would have killed him there, even without Vi. Because I still had uh, my flash and another dash from my ult. But yeah, that's why I like Electrocute. I think if I ran first strike, it wouldn't really do nearly as much damage. So I just know I'm getting an extra little bit of damage when I go in for bursting people. I wonder. Echo might be able to kill me here. But I'm getting plating, so it's worth it. The thing is, Kassin is a champion where you actually... It doesn't matter if you die, if you get kills and stuff. Anything to scale. See? I'm out. No problem at all. Do over. Almost had him out. And I can reset and just go TP bot. I need 50 gold for Archangels. This guy might kill me, but I don't think so. I'll be okay. Oh, I got the 50 gold. I'm going to have to TP mid, though, I think. They're full health thought. Uh, Mid's gone. Maybe I will TP bot. Lucian can ult and do some damage. There we go. Couldn't get uh, Nautilus because Aurelian, but it's okay. I got the Jin. Unfortunately, Lucian didn't do any damage to him, so I had to 1v2 there. Alright, let's get this. Once I have Seraphs and I get a nice shield, it's a lot harder to kill me. And I'm not even level 11 yet. Once I get level 11, it does more damage and way lower cooldown by a whole second. King Vi that I'm coming up. I think he's scared of me now. I think they know. The thing is, if Soul moves to come up, we can just try and kill him. Ooh. I should have went in that. Soul's just going to keep AFK pushing mid.
We can fight bot. We just need somebody to go in. Or Swain. Or Lucian with his face. Because unfortunately, Swain's standing so far back. But it's okay. We get this guy now. I actually need to stay on this guy. There we go. Because I need his ingenious stack. Okay, my ult's really high charge right now, so I need to wait for it to cool down. Yes, now Soul's scared of us. See? I started a lane like 0-2 or whatever. I'm 6-2 and two now. I'm scaling. I'm so confident in this champion. It's fun actually being able to like go in the jungle, in the river, and not have to worry about any of the champions seeing you and killing you because you can just kill them. Let's just roam top. I don't have that much mana. I would grab the plant, but he's already running, so... Let's just kill him. <laughs> See? I'm everywhere! I'm everywhere. Oh, blue. I have the Archangels now, which is a Seraph, since the tier's already finished. I'm gonna go grab Midwave, though, I think. Soul's just shoving. Ooh, and our jungler got two of the three dragons already, which is fine, so it doesn't matter if they get this one. I saw a Nautilus behind Aurelian Soul here, so I'm not gonna go in. Oh, Echo's here too. I mean, I'm just gonna poke him. They're coming back to help him. If he's not running... Oh, they're not here. See ya. He's probably not happy. Can TP, do you have a ward? Never, never mind, she doesn't have a ward. Okay, I like to go either Lich Bane next or defensive item. Since I'm fed, I'll go Lich Bane. There's all of them up there, so I wouldn't want to go into this. We can maybe fight it. We gotta wait till bot lane gets there, though. Alright, I'm here. That's good that she ran. So many targets is the problem. There's still tower. It's just my ult is fully charged here. It does a lot of damage, but also... Uh, I, can, I only have one more dash. The problem was Echo had shield and dash there. He's running. I could have beat him. I just need to hit him with that other dash, but I need to get out of his uh, stun. Not bad though, more kills for Casadino. Definitely can't fight this guy. He's clearing. His tower is gone. Well, how much do I need for this? A bit more. I'm gonna go Magi's here, actually. The thing is, like, I'm roaming everywhere, I'm getting kills. I should have actually bought the Magi's last buy instead of trying to build the, the Lich Bane. And then look, my Seraphs is already back up. I'll get the shield again. Like, I'm just a monster. over. Uh, I don't know where Yone is. I would grab that. But I uh, Yone, I just don't want to hit the plant and then just have Yone randomly ult me and kill me. Pretty sure he was over there. But there's a plant right there. Yeah, now somebody's right here. Rod of Age is just completed. I'm really scared to grab this. I'll just base. Another bomb.
think we got him. Oh my god, he went so far. Yeah, see, I knew Yoni was looking for me. <laughs> Why did I take no damage? Good question. I don't know. Yoni does a bit of magic damage, and I don't take much from magic. Need to catch some people out. If they stack up as five, it might be hard for me to kill them. Ooh, I'm coming top. We could just dive. There we go. In and out. If Nautilus is top, then they're not going to be able to get this. Oh my god, and I have upgrade. Oh, yo. Ow. Okay. They're not going for the dragon anyway. Uh, I'm going to have to run this guy down. Hopefully I can TP before he gets... Uh... Damn. I need to be everywhere is a problem. No, he's going to get it. So unlucky. Stupid Yone, man. Stopping my base. Bro, how is their team, like, literally pushing down everything? Everywhere I'm not at. Like, where are my teammates? There we go. Good teammates. Oh, I'm level 16 now. GG. Like, there's no way we should be losing this hard with a 14 kill cast. But, of course, I am literally all of our team's damage. Yone, I will hunt you down. You really go in the bushes? <laughs> I will hunt you down. At least we're getting dragons. We get one more dragon. I'm even harder to kill. I think I just go death cap next, honestly. Oh, they had a vision plan on me. You can do a flash R with Kassin where you just flash like right at the end of your R and it extends it. They're all gonna be up here. See if Orange stays and dies. So nice that I got the Chemtech plants. Oh, God, you're running the wrong way. That is not towards our base. Okay. Right. He still has R. Echo still has R. I don't want to get collected by Jin or whatever it kills. Ooh, fruit. Dude, they have pinks everywhere. I can't. If I get hooked by Nautilus... Two minutes on Dragon. We got top turret. I don't know if I can get this soul's gonna be here to defend it. Nope, he's top. Got a Banshee's Veil, which is annoying. Hello. 
They're all following me around. I don't think they can Baron, unless we all die. I got TP up. I mean, they're building magic resist. Maybe I get void stuff, actually. Maybe I sell boots for, like, death cap later. You need to pick someone. Soul's even getting Banshee's Veil. Banshee's Veil, Banshee's Veil. Very cringe. <laughs> Okay, they're split. Let me just go kill them. I'm gonna wait for my ult reset so I can get more dashes here. Faded out is all. Faded out, you know. Darn, that took my Seraphs. Any fruits? I think this is warded. It sucks. Nautilus can completely stop me from killing them. That's so dumb, man. Perma CC. I don't get how we're losing these fights, man. I do so much and they use everything on me. Darn. What really sucks is I would have killed them there. I should have just kept committing on Jin, but I got... I just Nautilus is carrying them by permanently going for me. I can't avoid a CC, which sucks. This is actually a 1v5, though. The only thing my teammates are good for is CCing them, and Vi's the only one doing that. Swain should actually have a free win here. I don't know why they're sacking armor when it's all soul damage that's killing them. Like, I kill Yone and Jin right away. I got TP. Maybe I can catch him. I just, like, I actually don't have teammates. It's crazy how useless they are. Like, I, I'm doing so much for them. And all they could do is just, like, CC or kill one person when they're five people focusing me. I literally ate every single ult on their team, too. Oh, they're just going to stand on top of Nautilus and win. Well, Echo arms my squishy champs. I don't know what to do, actually. Darn. We're actually, we're gonna lose just because it's literally a 1v5. Wait a second. I just, I don't think I can go in. Oh my god. Did you see how big Jin's Maw Shield was? We can Baron though. At least Orin did something there. I think I sell these. I mean, yeah, I sell this for Death Cap. I just have to like one shot them. Soul Spot, this is free. We're going to see the damage charts, and they're going to be pretty wild this game. I really would like to win. But it's just like all five of their people on their team are doing stuff. I've never seen a Swain be so useless into like five melee champs. Damn, this plant's going to give away my spot.
Ooh, let's go kill uh Jin's up here. There we go. Finally, I could catch him off tempo. They're not stacked as five anymore. But we should be free to win the game now. Oh, they popped his uh There we fucking go, Orin. Good shit, just Echo Bot, GG. Hey, why'd that plant disappear? Scam. Oh my god. 25 kills. Echo might. Oh, Echo's bot. Okay, he's tilted. The GG casted in Diff, man. That was actually a really hard game. But Cassidy, he's so strong. So strong, man. Almost got some pentas this game, too. It's so easy to get a penta kill on this champ. But, like, level 16 Cassidy, I'm just permadashing. That was basically a 3v5. Lucian and Swain were not contributing to <laughs> 54.6k damage. Oh, wow. I think all of Lucian's damage came from his ult. That's disgusting. We won. Let's see how much electric you did. 3,000. First strike would be nice, but I don't know. I like this setup. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Last but not least, leave a comment below. Let me know what builder champ you want to see next. And I'll see you later. Peace.